What's happening folks and welcome to the FM22 beta. It is here, it has come, it's been released earlier than I thought it would and we're getting started with FM22 content. I have a little break due to the PC issues and obviously not able to upload the new the Mario save which is kind of good because the game ended. The game's come out literally last night and the coin says it comes out late in the evening. Welcome to the series, Chasing the Champions League with Manchester City. That's the thing, the one thing they haven't won yet since the takeover. Being a Man United fan, it's awful, but I thought it's a bit different than Man United all the time and we thought we'd do this series. So thank you so much for watching guys. Hit the subscribe button for daily from content on this channel and check out my Twitch channel which will be live on Twitch when things settle down on the PC and that kind of thing, which I'll go into as the episode goes along what's been going on with that. So today is going to be literally going to be a introduction episode. I've not I've not had time to get into the game or anything like that. I want to get just look at the expectations, look at the finances, look at the squad, look at the targets and that kind of thing and give you you give your thoughts in the comment section on that. In terms of the schedule guys, because it's coming out in the worst possible time for me, I will try and call an episode today, which is gonna be my your time watching this for tomorrow. But I'm working Saturday, Sunday. So it's coming out of the worst possible time. It came out it came out on Tuesday or something, on Wednesday and the PC was okay. I could have got more recorded. So we're just going to look and see what they say um, in terms of vision that kind of thing. So I've not seen anything yet. I've not clicked in next yet. Let's go. So uh, next. So um, they've got a five star, a four and a half star re reputation. We've got, um, I can't pronounce that name. Berenstein is a, a football. They've not got Champions League yet on here, which is the one to do. That's fine. So they're playing. A, they're playing. A, I'm. Gonna, I'm not sure I'm gonna play that formation yet. I have to look at the team. I suppose we could do that formation. There, they are saying that's the best formation to play. Um, we'll look into that. Obviously, good news, guys, for you guys is because I'm gonna be lower, lowering my content down a little bit. I'm gonna be playing FM more. So hopefully, I'll get better at the game. Hopefully, uh, I think less is more adage. Also, guys, stars tomorrow. If you have fan stars tomorrow as well as these, these these kind of videos, that comes on the main game because I don't have access to, access to the air to yet to look at the potential ratings so if you want to see that series as well guys you're new here i think oh what's that series check out the sales tomorrow videos 11 21 just watch one of them no matter you just watch them all watch one of them and you get an idea what the series that series is going to be about and that will come out when the new game um is fully released on the member the 9th i'll try and get videos i'm out of videos soon to say request guys or players look at so we get a list of players we need to look at and then we can kick on straight away when the game comes down get, get going with that so uh, obviously striker is something i'm going to look at to strengthen uh they want to qualify for the champions league which is, you hope, a given. Um, FA Cup final minimum, we reach that. They want to reach the not, not care about Community Shield, the community, the Champions Cup, so final minimum, and the Carabao Cup. Because, guys, the nature of this series probably going to be one season only, I'm going to probably show the Community Shield as the first episode, as the first trophy we can win. I did it anyway on FM21, and based on the fact that I don't want to go too far in the game this year, because on the beta, it's only one season. We can just take shorter breaks and get more episodes out, make sure we get daily episodes. Um, we'll see how things just go and that kind of thing, but I'm not going to be doing like two or three seasons with Man, United, Man City. It's going to be one, maybe two seasons max. Um, we'll see how it goes, but we'll see. Maybe we continue it when the new game comes out. Maybe. I don't know. Get your thoughts in the comments. But usually I do one season, maximum two, and we see if we can get Champions League with them. Or should we just do this is a better save and keep going until we win it? Again, you can give your thoughts in the comments section. That's why I like episode, episodes like this because it gives guys a chance of feedback. So we'll do the best comments, that kind of thing. We'll do all those kind of stuff and see how that goes. So we're going to save it as um, Man City chasing the champions league because that is the name of the series um will we do it who knows so there we go guys first screen basically the normal screen you usually had uh that's your contract for players as you can see here there's fernandinho is the only one significant of significance that we need to keep an eye on uh in terms of our um potential i'm not even going to click continue on this episode i'm really not tactical de tactical direction required again i'm going to look at this myself some of these features to get an idea about them um i don't want to do a video guys because it's just to take too long but obviously i will learning things and playing it offline save myself once the full game comes out so it's great it's great right now so they want ticket attacker obviously yes to and we'll go with that formation for now again I'm not saying I'm going to stick with this formation um I'm going to see how things go 
Um, but again, for the basic for the episode, just get things started. Kind of a new, fresh, fresh start on FM content. Just get that basic tactic laid down. I look into the squad and we'll experiment. I'll experiment, experiment with things later down the line. So that's that tactic done. Uh, conclusions, we we'll accept that. We can't change anything anyway. Nothing I, I've, nothing I want to change anyway, really. So we'll accept that vision. So um, we've got injury update. De Bruyne's out for three to five weeks. We've got Phil Foden uh, out as well. And reoccurring injuries, like Grealish, Laporte, Bernard Silva, Stones and Zinchenko. Um, reoccurring injuries, so we've got to keep an eye on that. Um, hopefully it doesn't happen in this series. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. So fiction rules. Again, basic rules that you have, and then trust me. The key thing is, guys, what is the transfer budget? Because we do need a. You look at the, if, if, if where I think it is, the data hub. This is great. I'm not going to go in depth in this yet. I've not learnt it yet. I don't want to start umming and ahhing over things. Uh, I just want to do a basic introduction to the series and get things started. Once I get started, the episode, you see, we then get into the flow of things. Um, so I'll look at. Uh, where, you see, you see, is it still on this? It is on this section. So squad depth. A strike is needed. A striker is needed. We need to get a striker in at Man City because if we don't, we're going to struggle, I think. I mean, Jesus is not a terrible player. Um, I'm going to change his colours, by the way, guys, to my preferred style of colours. Basically, the yellow will be brown, we'll have orange, and then we'll have the um, green, sorry, green and orange. Orange to the high rate. It's my pre pre preference of colours, really. Like this feature here with the new valuation between that rather than a stick, stick, stick valuation. That's going to be fun to see what happens with that transfer, transfer system. Will we have a system where you can actually negotiate these transfers a bit better and offers coming in are more realistic and make more sense than they've done in previous years? So definitely the striker. But um, in terms of the rest of the squad, I mean, you're looking at the main players, uh, Mares is someone I really like. I like every time I manage on the FM every year. He's been brilliant. Obviously, 30 years old, not an issue for us long term because obviously it a long term save, um, to be honest with you. So, um, De Bruyne, looking forward to managing him. Obviously, we need to get him um, back fit, which is a problem. But he's got uh, how long? Three to five weeks. So, hopefully, back for the Community Shield. I doubt it. Um, but we'll see. Uh, who else should we have a look at and see who is really um Jack Grealish, of course, uh, 100 million pound footballer, which um again looks all right. I think he'd be, I don't know where, I don't know where I'm gonna play him. It depends if we play 4 2 3 1 or 4 3 3 that we're playing right now, but he looks really good, like him. Um, who else do I, I'm curious about? Reem Sterling not getting much looking at Man City. Oh, wow, taking a bit of a hit here, aren't he? I mean, technical is not great. Um, could it be someone we sell? I mean, he's he's quick. Could we sell Grealish, Sterling, get money in for him because he's not amazing based on those technical abilities. So we'll have to wait and see about that one. Uh, who else should we look at? Um, who else am I curious to, to see? Phil Foden. There we go. That's the one. Phil Foden. Yeah, playing really, really, well, really well in real life. I hate saying that, but it's true. The fact we've got so many good players play AMC. I'm tend to go play that AMC formation. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. Again, we could have two from could have two tactics and then rotate between two of them if we need to until we find one we think is working well for us. Um, so the question now is, what is the budget for Man City? What is their budget for transfers? That is the question. 100 million. 100 million pounds to spend on transfers. Actually, a bit more than that. 111 million pounds. Um, so we we will be I will be signing a striker, I think. Um, scouting. Um, Scouting good recognition for players. You have written recognition to both. See, yeah. I'm, just, I'm getting, you can read it yourself, guys, but I'm going to glance through it myself. Um, we're going to go with the world best package because I, I always do that with Man City. We should, we should have the best package we can. This is the key thing here the transfer value, which is what I was talking about earlier about, you know, look at the valuation of players and how they could change. The player's transfer value is typically a matter of opinion, but the market offers a fair indication of what he might be worth. And in, ter and in that, turns. And in that, turns give. Gives you a range of reference for which pressure of decisions. To get more detailed transfer value, it's advisable to speak to the player's agent and compile a scouting report to get as much information as possible. Again, I'll learn this. I'm watching videos and learn this myself. But yeah, I, I, I've again, we'll just finish that for now. I've heard that getting talking to the agents and um, scouting them is more important this year which is great previously he felt like he just didn't get much from that uh at least i didn't feel like i 
lost or gained much in doing it. So let's have a look at who's actually available, who we can actually maybe get as a striker in this first season. Let's have a look and contract information. Ooh. Ooh, this could be a player you really go for um, this year because obviously the current situation, a situation at, at um, being Mbappe. Do we try and try and structure a deal for Mbappe? That'd be fun. Again, it's one option. Uh, maybe we look at free transfer. There's Benzema, Erling Haaland. I mean, it's a bit cliche in England for Erling Haaland. But do we go for? Do we try and get Harry Kane again? He's got a lot of high valuation there. Um, Tal Martinez, not a bad option either. Uh, again, so we've got plenty of options here. Luis Suarez, I can't bring myself to do that. Uh, <laughs> though I, I'm sure he's, I'm sure he's very good this year. Yeah, he is, but he's not got the pace. Um, again, more realistic to sign though. But again, we've got options. We've got options here, which is good to see. Very good to see, and I'm very pleased with the fact we can maybe get Mbappe or maybe um, a Haaland or I've, I think most likely it'll be. If I can't get Mbappe um, on decent money, it'll probably be the Tyler Martins, Martins I'll go for. I think it'd be a good option for us. Um, again, Mbappe could be a guy you keep an eye on, guys. In your saves, keep an eye on Mbappe. Again, obviously, I've just played the game for about five minutes. Don't know how it's going to work specifically. But keep an eye on Mbappe, I would say, in your saves. So, yeah, we've got good options. I think we've got some good options. So, schedule, guys, for this season. So, the community shows against the City. We will, we will do... That oh, look, FM already making me have a feature dilemma here. I think we'll come back. We'll do less city because it's a cup competition. I do cup finals. I want to do that again. It's only one season, so we can take more time with it. Uh, and then we'll probably do probably do Man City, Man, Man United, or Man UFC because of the naming right thing, which I don't agree with. As a United fan, don't be surprised by that. You shouldn't be surprised about all these guys. So Manchester United been Liverpool. Episode two, but I think we should look up final against Community Shield because it's the first trophy in FM 22, and we can't call if we could win that. And plus, any new signings made a debut in that episode. So, yeah, guys, this, that is a very quick introduction, not gonna be too long because we're not just talking about things and getting things started and getting feedback and that kind of thing. Uh, also, it's last minute as well, it's, it's come out, and I want to get episode out Friday. And if I got it on the Friday, and I've got things to do on Friday because I'm on my own in the house, so just want to get episode out for you guys. Get it, up, get it started. Get uh, maybe an earlier, earlier start for an episode than usual. But yeah, thank you for watching, folks. Um, first episode will be Saturday, hopefully with the Community Shield. Then we'll do Man United, Man, Man United and Liverpool. The schedule is not quite sure yet because of, I mean, again, I'm prioritizing things and thinking about scheduling that kind of thing. But yeah, every 22 is here, guys. I'm back recording. Hopefully everything goes okay with the PC. And hopefully we can get cracking and have some fun on FN22 this year. And I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. So in down below, guys, comment section, thoughts on transfers, length of series, anything like that. Also, who you manage in the beta right now and who you manage on your full game. I you do what I'm going to do this year, which is going to be, I'm going to, not often the same as me, but I'm going to pick my team I support, which is these guys, and do a save all year long with them from day one. I always say I'm going to do it, never do it. I'm going to do it this year. Let me know if you're going to do this, something similar. And I'm also considering doing videos on that save. Not like this, let's play, but be mainly things like just, okay, two months in, this time my save's going, this is the I've got, kind of update things. Like a let's play, but a more of updates on the save all year and see how far I can get with, with the save. So yeah, thank you for watching, folks. Don't forget, hit that like button. It really would help the channel out massively for day one of the FM creative content. Subscribe for daily FM content on here. My Twitch channel live on Friday, Saturday, and Mondays. Right now, it's not easy to stream. I'm working Saturday. The PC's not noticed it yet. I'm easing back into things. I will be streaming the beta save with Man United. This is the beta, just beta. It won't be a full Man United save. It'll be beta save only. And uh, my plans on FN22, if you got this far, I'm going to reveal them now to you. If you got this far, well done. Thank you very much. The plans are beta save F on YouTube is going to be this one, obviously, Man City. Then Watford is going to be the full save, beta save, the full game save. That's on YouTube. Beta saves are going to be Man United on Twitch. And on Twitch, the full game will be Bradford City. And we keep going until we get sacked over to our aims. And that's what we're going to do. So don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe to the other content. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.